It is the most wonderful time of the year. You will be hard pressed to find a bigger Christmas fan than me. And that is why I am super excited to dedicate an entire episode of Tech Bites to the best tech gifts you can give this Christmas without breaking the bank. Hi, I'm Jess Kelly, and this is a very special Christmassy episode of Tech Bites. You will see we have our tree, we have our presents, and I have all of the recommendations. Sometimes when people are contemplating buying tech gifts, they get put off because they think you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of euro to get something that is worthwhile, but that is absolutely not the case. I have set out three price brackets and I have many brilliant gifts within each of those. First up, we have 60 euro or less. Then we have 120 or less. And then we come to the category I like to call the notions gifts, which are 250 euro and more. And as you see, there's everything from stocking fillers to substantial gifts. And I wanna kick it off with the gift ideas for less than 60 euro. I wanna start with an Irish company that helped save my sanity over the last little while. They are called zerofog.ie. It's a very simple idea. They make wipes for your glasses to prevent them from fogging up when you pop on your mask. So you get this little cloth, it's not drenched, but it's slightly damp. The idea is that you wipe your glasses lens, you wait a few seconds, you pop your glasses back on, you can pop your mask on, and you don't get that really annoying steamed up effect. You can use each cloth around 500 times. You just keep it in the packet and use a little resealable pouch. Uh, but as I said, huge fan. I would be lost without them and I would highly recommend them. All right, we're going to move on to a tech device that is highly functional and again would be on my list of top gadgets to buy. But again, they're super affordable. We have the Chipolo and we have the Apple AirTag. They kind of do the same thing. They are device finders. Uh, so you can clip it on to your keys, to your work fob, to your backpack, and they will help track down your items. The way it works is you download either the Chipolo app if you're on an Android device, or you use the Find My app on your Apple device if you are an iPhone owner or a MacBook owner or an iPad owner. You select the device uh, that you are pairing it to so you can name it anything you want, whether it is backpack, keys, fob, and if and when you misplace them, Number one, you can ring them, which is super handy. It means you're not having to pull the apartment or the house apart, lifting up couch cushions, trying to find items. You can ring them and find exactly where they are. Or if you leave them behind, say in a restaurant, in a friend's house, wherever it is, you can see the exact location. You can then also use the, the networks. So if, for example, your partner or your friends also have the Chipolo app, they will be able to pinpoint your device and find it for you. I think these are great value. The Chipolo is 25 euro and the Apple AirTag is 35 euro. Now the one thing to note about the Apple AirTag is that it doesn't come with these sort of accessories. For your 35 euro, what you're getting is just this white coin here. Uh, that is the bit that has the technology inside it. But if you want to get a keyring or any of these types of straps, they are extra. So bear that in mind. But I think they do make excellent gifts. Next on my list is something that would make a brilliant KK gift in the office or amongst your family, a lovely stocking filler, or if you just wanna treat yourself, this is the way to go. This is the JBL Go 3 speaker. I'm a huge fan of JBL speakers. I have been for quite some time, and I love this guy. As you'll see, he's very small, very portable. You can pair to a tablet, to your laptop, to your phone via Bluetooth. You just hit the pairing button on the side. And the sound quality from something this small, it's a bit mind blowing. If you are someone who likes to go on camping trips, if you like to go out and about in your garden and have great sound, not having that tinny, awful distortion that can sometimes happen on cheaper speakers, the JBL Go 3 is the way to go. It's 35 euro, which is an incredible price. And I just think from a sound quality and portability point of view, you can't go wrong. 
We're going to move up a little bit in terms of budget now, but not drastically. Uh, and we're going to kick off with the Google Chromecast with Google TV. Anyone who has listened to my output on the Pat Kenny Show on News Talk over the years will know that I rave about the Chromecast. I think it's still one of the best pieces of tech you can buy. But earlier this year, they brought out a new version. And the key distinction is that it comes with this little remote control. So what you're still getting is the device that plugs into the back of your telly. If you want, you can stream content from your phone onto the TV, whether that is from Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, it can all go through your device onto the TV. But if you want to use this little remote control, magic happens. What happens is when you press the home button on your TV, as if by magic, all of the content from different streaming platforms will appear in one place. So no longer will you have to open the Netflix app, the Disney app, the Amazon app, the whatever app to find comedy movies. You will now be able to press the little home button, scroll down and search for comedy. All of a sudden, every comedy movie from each of those streaming platforms will be pulled into one place. You will save yourself hours of time. You don't have to faff around opening the individual apps. It's also great because it can pull up the continue watching feature from all of those different streaming services again into one place. It really is a time saver and it also just makes the content that bit easier to find. So I think the Google Chromecast with Google TV is a must have. We're gonna move on to something that's quite controversial and I like to avoid controversy, but sometimes I just need to tackle these big issues head on. I'm gonna talk about e-readers. And I know some people will be watching this now, rolling their eyes up to the sky saying, what's wrong with just the old school book? And do you not have the attention span for old school book? I'm here to tell you that old school books and e-readers can coexist in a peaceful world and everything will be okay. If you are someone who is a big reader, I'm a big reader, I love reading. I always have to have at least one book on the go. I do think a Kindle is a worthwhile investment. There are three different models of Kindle that you can get. If you are on a budget, the basic Kindle for 70 euro is absolutely brilliant. They've made changes to it in the last wee while so that the screen is backlit, meaning you don't have to have a lamp on if you want to read in the dark. It is great. Or if you have someone in your life who has notions, and I absolutely have notions, uh, they might like the Kindle Oasis. As you'll see, it has the bigger screen and it has buttons on the side that enables you to turn the page. You may think, do I really need that? The honest answer is no. As I said, I'm a big reader. I love reading on my Kindle. I don't need to have the Kindle Oasis, but I like having the Kindle Oasis. The slightly folded back uh, of it makes it nice and comfortable to hold for long periods of time, particularly when we're all back traveling. Uh, it is a nice feature to have, but I do think regardless of whether someone is a teenager, an adult, or the person who has everything, you really can't go wrong with a Kindle. So we're going over the 100 euro mark for the first time, and it is for this Orbit Key Nest. Orbit Key is a brand that I hadn't heard of up until a few weeks ago. And as soon as I came across some of the products, I was instantly intrigued and I wanted to know more. This is the Orbit Key Nest. It's 109 euro and I really, really like it. I am very much interested in organization and streamlining the amount of stuff I have. Um, so I'm gonna take it out of the box here and you will see that it is a little nest. It's like your tech nest. So you can open it out, you just remove that little elastic and you can open it out and it has space to store your different bits and pieces. So whether that is your business cards, your bank cards, you also have space for say your Apple Pencil, for your headphones, all of your bits and pieces can sit very snugly within the box. Not only is it a lovely storage unit, but you can also charge your devices as well. Simply by placing them on the top, uh, it uses that sort of near field connectivity to charge up your devices without having multiple cables, which can be a bit of a pain in the face. As I said, I think it's a lovely gift, particularly as we are sort of doing that hybrid working thing of working from home sometimes, working in the office other times. It is nice to be able to move all your stuff in a clear and concise way, and I am a big fan. We're gonna focus in on another Irish company that I absolutely adore, not only because it means we get to support local, but they make amazing products at very reasonable prices. The company is called One Sonic Audio. I've been raving about them since this time last year. Uh, they make both in-ear and on-ear headphones. It's a group of 
audio engineers and audio professionals who've come together to make really good products. This is their latest product. The name of it is the MXS HD1 noise cancelling in-ear headphones. And as you'll see from the image, they're beautiful looking. They are very comfortable in the ears. And what I would say is that they have the best touch controls out of any in-ear headphones I think I have ever used. I am someone who walks around with headphones in every day of the week, all day, every day. And I think if you find a pair that are comfortable, that have amazing sound quality, and that work as you want them to, then you can't go wrong. Uh, so these would be the ideal gift. If you don't want to spend 130 euro, if it's perhaps for a younger person, you can get the previous generation of their in-ear headphones. They are 60 euro and are still incredible value. The sound quality is great. And you know, all of the bits and pieces I've just mentioned do apply to those 60 euro versions. The key difference is that these ones are noise cancelling um, and I am a huge fan, so would highly recommend. Next up is a Nokia product. Uh, you may remember here on Tech Bytes, we put one of the Nokia phones through its paces a little while ago. We found it was incredibly durable and a very impressive device. And I'm delighted to say that this Nokia T20 tablet ticks a lot of boxes as well. I know a lot of parents will be on the hunt for a tablet that provides great quality screen time for their children, within limits, of course. Uh, and this does tick a lot of those boxes. As you'll see, it's a beautiful looking device. Uh, it's called Deep Ocean, the color, which obviously doesn't matter at all, but I just like acknowledging that tech companies put a lot of time and effort into naming the colors of their devices. It's a 10.4 inch screen, so it's a very nice screen. It is very portable runs basic Android, so again, you can set it up using Google Family Link if it is for a child, or just uh, with your Gmail address if it is for yourself. Very good in terms of the day-to-day -day things of shopping, emails, streaming content. It's good for gaming as well, so again, for those smaller people who might be playing some games, uh, just make sure that you are setting it up either in parental mode or using Google Family Link to ensure that everybody stays safe online. It's 250 euro, and I do think it is one of the best tablets that you can buy. If you don't wanna spend that amount of money, uh, the other one to check out is the Lenovo M10 tablet. Again, 10.1 inch screen, very nice, a little bit slower in terms of jumping from app to app, uh, but it's around 150 euro. So if you're looking to keep the prices down, but still get a tablet for a young person to watch, Netflix, YouTube, whatever they want, uh, that could be the way to go. Last but not least on my list is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Uh, as you may know, Samsung unveiled a suite of new products earlier this year, including foldable phones and a whole host of new accessories, including this guy. Now, before I talk about what I like about it, I wanna talk briefly about buying a wearable. I know it can be frustrating, but I always say, ask the question, what do you want the device to do? If you want, or if someone in your life wants a wearable just to track their steps, their sleep, and their heart rate, they probably don't need something like this. You can get some basic Fitbit wearables for less than 100 euro that will do that. If, however, you want a watch that will do all that fitness stuff, but also offer an element of productivity, either you know allowing you to engage with your messages, your phone calls, a little bit more phone functionality but on your wrist, this could be the way to go. As you will see, it has a nice circular face on it. Uh, you can get different uh, sizes depending on the size of the wrist of the recipient. So just make sure that you do your research on that. This is the 40 millimeter version. It's priced between 224 and 279 euro, depending on where you buy. But I have to say, I really like it. The only thing I would say, and just to bear this in mind, is that I found it was quite big on my wrist in comparison to some of the other wearables that are out there. So if you are somebody, or if you're buying for somebody with slightly smaller wrists, uh, just bear that in mind. It does take up a significant portion of the wrist in comparison to some of the other devices that are out there. If you are looking to buy something that's slightly neater on the wrist, it's absolutely worth looking at the Huawei Watch Fit New, uh, the 2021 version, it's 99 euro. It has a much narrower face. Uh, the screen on it is stunning. 
it still ticks the majority of the boxes uh, that this one would do or indeed the Apple Watch would do um, but it's just another option to bear in mind. So there you have it there are some gift recommendations hopefully to suit every budget. Uh, I have nothing else to say except to wish you a very happy Christmas. If you do get a new tech device over the Christmas period and need a bit of help with setting it up or something goes wrong, don't forget you can email me at any stage. Techtalk at newstock.com is the email address. If you have a friend or a family member looking for some gift inspiration, don't forget to share this video on. And we will be back in 2022 with more Tech Bites. Until then, have a great Christmas.